Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is my birthday. And I'm turning 19 and I'm really excited. So I decided I would film another mukbang for you guys. I have a huge birthday ice cream sundae for me right here. A lot of you guys requested another mukbang. You guys want to see more mukbang. So you're gonna get them because I love filming them. They're one of my favorite things to film. Today I'm doing a birthday q and I'm really hungry. I'm just gonna get started. Okay, so there is so much stuff in here that I'm just gonna go through it as I'm eating it because... Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to name everything in here, but I'm super excited. So I'm just going to get started Everything is vegan in here. I have like vegan cookie dough vegan just everything I got some of the cookie dough in that bite. I think this ice cream Mmm there's only three types of ice cream in here. There's the vegan Netflix and Chill by Ben and Jerry's. There's the Cookies and Cream by So Delicious, I believe. And then the Strawberry Cheesecake by Nadamu, which I'm so excited for. Let's see if I can. Ooh, here we go. Bro. Oh my gosh, it just tastes amazing. And then the cookie dough, or the Cookies and Cream one is in the front. Mmm. And then this is vegan whipped cream. So good. And then I also have chocolate covered pretzels in here. And I drizzled some peanut butter on here as well and chocolate. All right, I'm gonna start with the first question. Hannah underscore Janelle asked, where do you see yourself in five years? Well, hopefully, Graduated from my community college, which I'm do taking classes for right now. These are mint Oreos, by the way. And hopefully going to university. I want to major in nutrition. And... I'm not sure which university I want to go to yet. But hopefully it's successful in the next five years. And then back here I have some almond cups. Mm. Those almond cups, it's the Justin's brand. And it's so good. They're my favorite. Also, I'm messing with my background. I don't know what I want to do yet for my background, but comment down below which background you like better. The background I had in my last mukbang or this one. Or if you have any suggestions, let me know. Crystal underscore 21 underscore underscore said... Happy late birthday. How was your day? Thank you, Crystal. My day was actually pretty good. I didn't really do much, so that's pretty fun. Yeah, good day. <laughs> mm. Ooh. The cookies and cream has been exposed. Oh, <gasps> what is that? Bro, look at that. It's gonna fall. Mm. And then here, Amy's vegan chocolate bar thing. It's like a coconut nougat. <laughs> mm. Mm. 
Now, I'm not a huge fan of coconut, but that's pretty good if I say so myself. Maylee DeVries, my sister, I love her so much. She asks, what is your favorite pastime? Um, that's a hard one because it changes a lot. It just depends on how I'm feeling. But lately, it's been reading. I've been getting into the Percy Jackson series because of Maylee. And I've been reading a lot and I've been loving reading. It's just so fun. Yeah, reading. Mm. Here I have some chocolate. This one, this one I think is Who's Hazelnut Butter. It's pretty good. And then this one I think is the Cashew. Mmm. Mmm. That has a really good flavor. And then this last one is the almond, I believe. Ugh. really hard but very delicious maniotic says hi what's your favorite cereal i miss you by the way i love you oh my gosh i miss you so much too i love you so much we need to hang out again my favorite cereal i don't really eat cereal mm. well Okay, if I were to pick one, probably Captain Crunch. A lot of the name brand cereals aren't vegan, um, but if I were to pick one, either Captain Crunch or Cinnamon Toast Crunch was really good. Now though, that I'm vegan, I don't really eat cereal a lot, like I said. I add protein to milk and then eat that with rice puffs and it's so good. Mm. Underscore Clara underscore Nicole, love you girl, asks, what inspires you to do the things you do in any aspect of your life? That's a really hard, that's a good question. I don't think I've ever really thought of that before. Um, um. Probably just the people in my life. Seeing my friends and family doing things and accomplishing things really motivates me and inspires me to do better in life and makes me want to accomplish things like they are, so. There's supposed to be cheesecake chunks in, oh, I think I found them. Mmm. Dude, this Nautamu is so good. I highly recommend that. It's especially super refreshing after all, like, this chocolate and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna have a piece of this cookie and the ice cream. These are just Lenny and Larry's cookies. I got the chocolate donut and then my favorite, which is just the double chocolate. Mmm. Fire as always. Baby dot underscore yammy says, when will I see you again? Oh my gosh, that is one of my best friends, guys. I don't know when I'll see you again, but 
I hope it is as soon as possible because I miss you so, so much. I can't even, my life is not complete without you. Hopefully like tomorrow, <laughs> I wish. Emily CLRK asks, what do you see yourself doing in the future? I, like I said earlier, want to be a nutritionist and I really want to help people. I originally actually wanted to be a nurse, but I then did my research and realized that is not something I wanted to do just because of all the hard work and everything you have to do to get into everything you have to do to be a nurse. So I decided I wanted to go into nutrition because I, I'm a big foodie and I love food and I really want to help people with their diets and I think it would be really good and I did my research and it sounds like something I want to do. But if we're talking like what's my dream, I really, really want to open up my own cafe. I have so many recipes that I would love to put in a cafe and like have people try out. Like it's my dream to have my own cafe. Now I'm going to try some of this, that's my favorite one, I have, I don't have to try it, I already know I like it, but I'm going to try it with the ice cream. Mmm. Mmm, I heard cookie dough and cheesecake in that bite. I'm moving. Emily also asks, what's a vegan version of food that you really don't like? <laughs> Funny thing that you ask that, I just went out to eat yesterday, or a couple days ago, with one of my best friends, and we went to Veggie Eats, and we got some vegan food there. She got this broccoli beef dish, and she let me try some of it, and I tried the beef, and it tasted like how I remember beef tasting, and I hated it. So, probably vegan meats, or vegan beef, at least. Dallin underscore L underscore Scott asked, what was your biggest dream, goal, or aspiration when you were a child? Well, I always wanted to be in the music field. Mm. I don't know if you call it music field, but like, I really wanted to be a musician. I've always loved singing and dancing and just like everything that's to do with music, basically. And, um, oh my goodness, this cookie, this ice cream has made it so hard. I had, I actually was going to start a band in high school. Obviously that didn't happen, but we got pretty far. I even bought instruments and then it just, it didn't happen because I didn't see, with where we were going, I just didn't see it working out. Plus I didn't have a lot of money, <laughs> still don't, and... It just, it didn't see it working out in the future. Yeah, I've just always loved, loved singing, so. Kinsey Lee Page asked, what is it like to live in the desert? Scorching hot. Yeah, um, I live in the desert. I'm homeless. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, where I live, it's the desert and it's super hot. And I honestly like it because I'm one that likes to sit in the sun and relax. But during summer, it gets so hot. Like this is melting so quickly. I was so scared that this was gonna melt before I even started because it's so hot. 
and some nights it's hard to get to sleep because it's so hot but I'm grateful for where I live the area is actually really really pretty and I'm super blessed to live where I am living currently I'm so glad I got this not a new because it is so refreshing compared to everything else in here all the chocolate is so decadent it's delicious but it's it's a lot mm. Kinsey also asked, what is your favorite music slash songs? Okay, let me tell you. Right now, I am on this Troy Sivan grind. Oh my goodness, I his songs, I don't know what it is, they just hit me different. So right now, probably one of my favorite songs is Easy by Troy Sivan. I love it so much. I listen to it like three times a day. It is, it's just so good, I love it. But... I also really love Adore You by Harry Styles. That one is also really good. Hmm. I think another one of my favorites has to be... Oh, the song Don't Change by Why Don't We. It is such a good song. It's just the lyrics, like everything it's talking about. I feel like there's a song I'm missing. If I think of it, I'll let you know. What are your favorite animals? Oh, that's a hard one. I just love all animals. Um. My dad is one of my favorite animals. I'm kidding, I love you dad. <laughs> okay, well, if we're talking house pet, probably a dog. I love cats, don't get me wrong, but I'm not really much of a cat person. I'd prefer having a dog in the house. Oh, I love bunnies. One of my best friends just got a bunny and it is the cutest thing ever. Ugh, if I have a picture or a video, like I'll insert it right here. Oh my gosh, the cutest thing ever. What do you want to be when you grow up and why? Like I already said, or I already mentioned that I wanted to open up a cafe, like that's a dream of mine. So I already answered this question in like three different other questions. I wanted to be a musician when I was little and it's still something that I kind of wanted to do now. And then I also said I wanted to go into, into nutrition and I also said that I want to open up a cafe. So I kind of already answered that question, but there's my answer again. Okay, I think I'm gonna do one more question and then that'll be the end because I'm getting really sugared out. So, Black Pill Vegan asks, how long do you plan to stay vegan? Well, forever I hope, as long as I'm alive. A lot of people ask me like, oh, it sounds like such a hard diet. It sounds like something that I'd never be able to do. Like, they always say the word diet and I'm like, well, it's not a diet, it's more of a lifestyle and it's it's something that I've felt better doing. I've been so much happier now that I'm vegan, so I'm hoping for forever.
the hard part is when health comes into play. You never know things you might need to eat or consume for health reasons. It could be something down the road that prevents me from being vegan due to health. I'm not saying I'm, I see that in my future. I'm just saying that could happen. And in that case, yeah, I would need to stop being vegan for that reason. But I mean, it's not gonna kill me. It's not terrible if I can't be vegan. Like, I need to survive, don't I? So... There are also a lot of vegans out there who have needed to stop being vegan because of health reasons and that's totally understandable. If you are having health issues and you need to not be vegan anymore because you need to eat things that are going to help you survive, I totally understand that and they should not be getting hate for that because it's their life and it's their decision. So even if they were not going vegan or if they stopped being vegan because they just didn't want to anymore. Oh, they get so much hate for that and I don't understand because it's their decision. They have their decisions and things that are going on in their life and it's their choice. It's their life. Okay, last bite. I am going to take a fat nap after this, that's for sure. Alright guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. This has been a great birthday. I love you all so much. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to like this video. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!